So if God judges you by the Ten Commandments, will you be found to be innocent or guilty? Think about that. If we're honest, we will be found guilty. And the Bible says that all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Neither the sexually immoral, nor adulterers, nor thieves will inherit the kingdom of God. To those, Jesus will say, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. If God gives us justice, you and I are not headed for heaven. We're headed for hell. The Bible says that God is a God of love and a God of mercy. And that's true. And He has demonstrated His love and His mercy toward you and me by providing a way for us to be forgiven and to escape the punishment and the wrath of God. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die on a cross, to pay the price for our sin. Picture a criminal guilty of serious crimes. And the judge says, you're guilty. All the evidence is out. What do you have to say for yourself? And he says, well, I don't have anything to say for myself. But I'm hoping you'll let me go. The judge can't let him go. If he's a good judge, he has to see that justice is served and that that man is punished for what he's done. Or until that man's fine is paid, he will not be set free. But if someone comes in and pays the fine for that man then the judge can release him on the grounds that someone has paid his fine. And the Bible says that's exactly what God did for us. God became a man, Jesus Christ, and He suffered and died to pay our fine. The Bible says God demonstrates His own love toward us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. When Jesus hung on the cross, that was God saying to the world, I love you. And then three days later, he rose from the grave. And he conquered death. And he broke the power of sin. And the Bible says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. If the Son has set you free, you are free indeed. Are you free? Are you free from your sin? You already know that telling God you're a good person is not going to work. Saying that you're a Christian or that you're a member of a church not going to work. There's only one way to be set free from your sin. And God offers it to every person in this room. You must humble yourself before God, repent of your sins, and trust in Jesus Christ alone to save you. What does it mean to repent? To repent means to confess your sin and turn away from it. Don't hide it. Don't pretend like it's not there. Be honest because God sees the truth. Say, God, I'm sorry for my sin. I'm guilty and I know it. Will you please forgive me? And turn away from your sin once and for all. The Bible says we're headed this way toward sin. He says turn away from your sin and head toward God. And live your life on His terms the way He wants you to. 
never turning back to that sin again. And put your faith in Jesus Christ alone. When Jesus said, have faith in me, he didn't mean just believe. Just believe in me. He meant trust me with all your heart. The same way you would trust a parachute if you were jumping out of a plane at 25,000 feet. If you knew you had to jump and I handed you a parachute, would you just leave it in your lap and, and, and believe in it? It wouldn't do you any good. What do you have to do? You have to put it on. And that's what the Bible says. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. 